Sony has just revealed PlayStation Productions. Let's take a look at what we know so far about this new studio. How's it going everyone? Blue Knight here, and today I'll be discussing Sony's recent reveal of PlayStation Productions, which is a big move for Sony as this will allow them to adapt their PlayStation IPs to film and TV shows without needing to license them out to other studios like how Activision Blizzard handles things. Which I believe Sly Cooper is involved in this as well, but I'll get to that in just a minute. But first, the new studio, which PlayStation's Sean Layden and the head of PlayStation Productions went into a lot of detail about in this article, which I'll link that said article down in the description below. So basically, this decision to adapt the PlayStation IP library was inspired by Marvel's impact on the film industry. To get an understanding of the industry, they even talked to the producer of Avengers Age of Ultron, Kevin Feige. So according to the interview or article, there's already a few projects in production. Now I'm not sure what these projects might be, but it could be the perfect way to bring back dormant franchises like Jack and Daxter, finish announced projects like the Uncharted film, give Ratchet and Clank a second chance with a TV show possibly. The possibilities are literally never ending. Did I just reference Sonic Unleashed? Now I want to point out that Sly Cooper could be one of these first projects in production. And here's why. For anyone who's been keeping up with the show, I'm sure you might have heard about Sly Cooper being removed from PGS Entertainment's website earlier this month. Which didn't happen for almost a year after the release date leaked. Strangely enough, the Dave Madden interview is still on there. But after Sony announced this new studio, it made perfect sense. You see, Sly Cooper is a PlayStation IP. Okay, PGS Entertainment was announced to distribute it. Alright, while well, Sony Pictures was announced to be the distributor of films and TV shows adapted from PlayStation IPs for PlayStation Productions, with each title possibly being a PlayStation Original. A distributor change is about the only thing that makes sense as to why Sly was removed from PGS Entertainment's site. Now, for some reason, Technicolor Animation Productions still hasn't changed that, but it's likely they haven't updated the page yet. However, over on Twitter, they retweeted this very article. Now, speaking of Technicolor, I believe they are still producing the show, but I think the show was affected by this distributor change. Let me explain. Shortly after the show was announced, Brad Foxhoven revealed that the show was in production as of August 2017. Then in June 2018, Foxhoven said on Twitter, no update, still in very active development. So what I'm getting from this is that the show went under restructuring. Why would they need to do that? Probably because of a change of distributor which I believe could have happened between January 2018 to June 2018. The reason I'm thinking this is because of this tweet by Foxhoven, also on Twitter in January, saying, I think that would be our anxiety as well, but we would also have anxiety that we would work hard to make everyone happy, but end up making no one happy. Sony is tasking us to be bold and take the franchise forward while respecting and honoring its past. Now notice how Foxhoven mentions Sony and not PGS. I mean sure, it's PlayStation's property, so of course they'd want to say that. But notice Foxhoven's wording is sort of similar to what we've seen in the article announcing PlayStation Productions, like that best honors for property and PlayStation Productions with partnership of Sony Pictures will be affecting the time to make film and TV projects that live up to the quality of their video game source material. 
which tells me that they want these adaptations to be the best they can be, and that's why they're doing this. Because they're more familiar with their IPs than other studios would be. Now, this brings me to some concerns fans had when we seen the synopsis for the Sly Cooper TV show with this sentence. Sly Cooper follows the adventures of an irresistibly charismatic raccoon, a modern-day Robin Hood, who restores justice to his city one theft at a time. The part about his city makes it sound like the show would only take place in Paris instead of numerous locations. Now, when this was found back in March 2018, everyone was concerned that this would be another Sonic Boom styled show. But the change in distributor from PGS to PlayStation Productions plus restructuring over quality could have been very likely. The platform of which these TV adaptations will release on is uncertain right now. But VTMV brought this to my attention yesterday that Netflix is attending E3 2019. And they tweeted this not very long ago, like about a week ago or so as they want to adapt their TV shows into video games. Again, the timing of all this is very interesting. So maybe we'll see these PlayStation productions at E3 2019 via Netflix's panel next month. We'll just have to see and wait on that. Last note before ending the video. Sean Layden in the article mentions fans finishing a game in 40 to 50 hours and having to wait three to four years for a sequel. Yeah, we Sly fans have been waiting six plus years and that these adaptations would fill in those gaps. So guys, I believe I said enough. As usual, what do you guys think about all this? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Once again everyone, thanks so much for watching and supporting the channel. I've been Blue Knight, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Goodbye.